Hey guys, anybody have a tilt trailer? So it's a really neat idea, this tilt trailer kind of thing, because it tilts down, you should be able to drive on it. But anyone who's ever had one of these knows that when you get to a certain point on the trailer, it comes crashing down like really hard. And uh, yeah, I like the sound effects. <laughs> So, I read some stuff, and they have a shock system that you can put on here, similar to, uh, you know, to new covers or like, you know, the back hatch on your car or something like that. So, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to install some shocks here, and we're going to see if we can actually make this tilt trailer able to drive on and have it come down slowly and vice versa when you roll off of it will it go up slowly without coming crashing down so that's the situation we're having and we're gonna give it a shot and let's check out the hardware we have and we'll be right back okay here is the uh, stuff for the brand that I bought here's the piston itself caliber shows you on the trailer there how it works comes with all the instructions pretty detailed instructions as far as measurements go and it does come with some uh, diagrams also to help you out um, so now we're pretty much going to hook this thing up and we're going to see if one piston is going to do what we need it to do or if we're going to have to mount another piston on there um, i would have actually just went and mounted the two pistons on there but they said that it might actually be too, too much resistance and then it would be really difficult to get the trailer to go down. So we're gonna find out. Okay. Okay, so after being well into this project that shouldn't have taken that long, it seems to be taking a little bit longer than expected. And the big challenge with, I guess, every tilt trailer is the distance that the trailer uh, tilts to because you have to measure out your brackets very precisely because if they're too close together then the piston won't close all the way um, and that won't be good and if it's too far apart then it's going to be pulling solely on the piston meaning if the tongue is down too far to the ground then the height obviously is going to open up bigger so getting this measurement took quite a few um, different adjustments to do they said to tape the hinges on on the instructions uh, I ended up using a hot glue gun which actually worked really well because the metal is a little colder so they put the hot gun hot glue on the uh, bracket and then stick it and I was able to get the brackets into a position and then move the trailer up and down uh, so you could measure your closed position and then you could measure your open position okay so now the next challenge that we're going to have is it seems to definitely have a lot of pressure uh, coming down in other words you can't push that piston closed by hand so bringing the trailer down you actually have to push on it pretty hard I'm not sure um, we, we use this trailer mostly for lawn tractors, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. So we're going to have to uh, hook it up to the van, and then we're going to have to try the try to basically drive the tractor onto the trailer and see what kind of pressure um, we have. And I did purchase another piston. So I have two of these pistons. They say that you only need one piston. Um, that's going by like a double uh, snowmobile trailer. So let's take a look at the hardware I have and then we're gonna get back to it and see if it's actually gonna work. Okay, so <laughs> we, uh, we have our trailer hooked up to our van. And we have our piston mounted the way they suggested mounting it, put it here, just one piston. Um, it's 
So there is a pretty good amount of resistance come down. Uh, as far as it tilting from the locked position to the down position, it, there's not a lot of resistance, so it kind of goes, it flips up kind of fast. So I'm just gonna try to, I do not have my assistant today, so I'm gonna try to show you just by walking on it, I could walk all the way to the top of this trailer here, and then I pretty much have to push it with, I'm sorry if you can't see this right, with my weight, I'm still on it, but there's a little bit right in the end where it comes down kind of fast. Now, first, if I go the other way, how much resistance for going down. So now I could walk almost to the end, Whoop. and as you can see, it goes down pretty hard. So I don't know that one piston is definitely enough. And the other issue we're having is because it's quite a tilt on this trailer. And as you can see the marks from the lawn tractor, it, uh, it struggles to get up that much of a tilt. So the goal to do this was not to have to use ramps to get the lawn tractors on and off. But so far, uh, I cannot say that this is better than the ramps. So we're gonna try and we're gonna mount another piston because we have it on the other side here. And we'll see if two pistons makes a big difference um, compared to the one piston. And we're gonna get that mounted up and we're gonna do the test from there. Thanks. And a couple of things on the uh, mounting. So here's our new piston. There's very tiny little springs. I don't know if you can see them. There they go. There's little springs. Let's make my finger on it. Right there that you have to pop out so you can get this to go over the, uh, the ball socket right there. So if you are doing this, be really careful of these pins. Make sure you take them out the right way and make sure you get them back in the right way, otherwise they'll fall off. Uh, the only other obstacle we had with this particular kit is they give you these screws here. Now these screws, they don't fit through the bracket. As you can see, they're too big. So trying to put a self-tapping screw through a bracket, uh, holding it with your hand is, is really a bad deal. So what I did is we're gonna put them up into the, um, in the vise here and we're gonna drill them out so the drill will fit, the screw will fit through the brackets without any struggle. And then we are gonna pre-drill the um, frame of the trailer because it's pretty heavy steel so it's not gonna go through that easy. So that was the only uh, thing with the kit that I found that didn't really work uh, the way they said it should. And one other thing, uh, so if you can see it, so they give you three holes pre-drilled in the bracket, which is really great, okay? That the screw needs, doesn't fit in, but anyway, um, the middle one, <laughs> you can't take that ball off there, so I don't have any idea how you would get a screw into that hole because the screws have to go in from the side where the ball is. So on this one bracket, uh, that doesn't work too well. On the other bracket, um, it goes the other way, so that side you're fine. It's just that one bracket, you really can't use that center hole. Other than that, that that's all I found. Hey guys, okay, so <laughs> I don't have any assistance, so I gotta put the camera down there. We have the two pistons mounted on this trailer. Um, it, it, made a, it made a really big difference. Uh, I don't know if it's still gonna work or it's not gonna work, but here's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you how much pressure it takes to get the trailer to come down now. So first we're gonna pop our pin out of here and we're gonna let the trailer go up. And it's got a lot of resistance to go up, which is nice. It's still there. Okay, but now, <laughs> with these two little pistons, I know they don't look like much, but let me tell you what, they are pretty mighty because I'm not that big of a guy. I only weigh about 175 pounds or so. Um, <clears throat> so just to show you how much pressure it takes to get this to come down, <laughs> I can't do it at all. So I actually have to stand on this thing, draw my weight, and lean this way to get it 
to come down. And once you get it down to about here, then the pressure comes off. So I think that that's gonna work really well when we drive a machine on this. Um, the next issue we're having with the driving the machine on it is uh, traction and how to get it um, to go up the steep slope. So we're gonna have to put some kind of tracks down on it to get the machine to go up. Like I said, our goal here is to try to load and unload lawn tractors using the tilt option on this tilt trailer and see like, is it doable or is ramps just a better, safer alternative? You know, ramps, kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta put them in the truck. You can't leave them in the trailer because they might walk away, stuff like that. So um, that's our goal. We put the pin back in here because I always forget about that pin. And um, we're gonna go try to find some kind of traction thing. And we're gonna put some traction down on this and then we'll actually show you like how it is to load a uh, a, the lawn tractor on or off this type of tilt trailer. Okay, thanks. Okay, so here's what we did for traction for the machine to drive it up on the tilt trailer. We just put down some strips of uh, plywood on there, screwed them down and that made a huge difference. So when the trailer is tilted, the tractor will actually drive right up it, no problem, and stop. So you're not going to slide off the trailer. Uh, the other, let's see, the outcome of the shock situation. So one shock seems to work pretty good. Believe it or not, that tiny little shock does a lot. And it makes it a lot more controllable to use this type of a tilt utility trailer. With the two shocks on there, it was just way too hard to, even with the machine on it, to get the trailer to come back down. It was like you, you actually had to force it. So we're gonna go with the one shock on this side. This is how we mounted it, the way they said to mount it. Um, it's a little tight with the pin there, but it, 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 it gets by. And uh, so that's it, you know? I guess ultimately the question is, is a tilt trailer really worth it as a utility trailer? Um, I happened to come across this trailer a long time ago for pennies on the dollar so to me it's a nice little trailer to have around the yard uh, but as far as buying a utility trailer you know go with something more like uh, if you can see the other one over there you know with the gate that drops down your typical tractor supply or a Lowe's trailer anyway I hope some of this information might help you thanks for watching have a great day guys